Hello Makeup Void, I'm Trin and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today is the finale to eyeshadow palette week. We have made it through a full week of eyeshadow palette content. I can't believe that I was able to pull this off, not gonna lie, very impressed with myself that I was able to pull this off, so pats on the shoulder for me because I freaking did it, even though this is not the last video I'm filming. But I'm imagining myself to be a success. So let's go ahead and rank all of my Fantasy Cosmetica palettes. I have bits and pieces of every single palette. There are two palettes that I only have the shimmer met the metallic singles of. So I am including them in this video. But keep take in mind, give that a grain of salt where I some those two palettes, I can't review the entire palette for all of its entirety. But I still want to include them because it's Fancy Cosmetica. So let's go ahead, give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, and let me know your thoughts on how Eyeshadow Palette Week went for you. Let's get rolling. I think I am going to rank... This is very arbitrary. <laughs> I use that word a lot when I do ranky videos. Very arbitrary, could change on the day, but I've been thinking about this for the past couple days and I think I've made up my mind. So we have, didn't even count, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bits and pieces of every single Fancy Cosmetica palette. So starting off with number eight is the Bard palette. I adore this palette. The reason why it's ranking so low is that the blatant one and done eyeshadow for me, this shade, which is called Charismatic, is not a one and done eyeshadow. I did do swatches of all the palettes, so I don't know they're for me. You will be seeing swatches, so I'm not doing the live swatches. But the problem is with Charismatic is that it's very putty-like, which I usually love, but there's something with that formula where you just can't pick it up with a brush, you can't pick it up with a finger, it's pretty much stuck in paste with a pan. It looks a little used because I keep smushing it, but overall this is a beautiful fall warm toned palette. I definitely need, I was in, I think, Deca Painting for June, I think that's what it was. Maybe July, I don't know, I could look back, I'm not going to. But I so I have used this palette quite a few times this year, but generally this is a fall palette. This is the time of year to break it out, but I think also it could be pretty good for summer. It's just ranking at the bottom because it's not my favorite for one and done. Next, I think I want to bring in some of the singles. I am going to bring in the Warlock palette. Oops, let's move that from Starlet. Scoochie some of these around. Alright, so these are my singles from the Warlock palette. The reason why I'm ranking it here is because I don't reach for them all that much. This little singles palette, I keep on my vanity at all times just in case I want to use one of the singles in here, which is Dominantly Fantasy Cosmetica. So my favorite shade out of this is this Duochrome Patron, which shifts some pink to green and is absolutely stunning. This shadow... It looks cool to me, on to you, but it looks green to me, so it has to be some sort of like duo multi-chrome. But otherwise, I don't really gravitate towards these shadows. So, I, and if I am reaching for them, I'm reaching for Patron, and then I'm probably also reaching for the Dark Metallic, let me see if I get it out without breaking it, Offering. So I'll generally just use Patron and Offering, Offering in the outer corner, and then Patron all over the lids. So for that, I'm reading it pretty low. Next up, we have the Wizard palette. This is the newest palette Fancy Cosmetica is the newest, is not the newest Fancy Cosmetica palette, but it's the newest to my collection of Fancy Cosmetica. Say that eight times fast. But the reason is, is that it's not a one trick pony. It's really not. You can get a lot of variants, different looks in here, but the standout shade for me is carrot, no, configuration. This is a one and done, this is a one and done, but the reason why I'm ranking it low is that it has a holographic shade in it. And I said it in my eyeshadow palette tag video, I think that's the look I did for this, is that the holographic shade, which is called Gravity, while it has a beautiful texture, it's a very underwhelming holographic shade. I... No, I have holographic shades in at least two other palettes, which are very more intense, very more like, oh, this has some substance, whereas this shadow does not, so it makes this palette a little bit underwhelming. I will be reaching for it for my ranking of all the eyeshadow palettes I tried in 2024, but I'm not necessarily looking forward to it. Next, I have the Druid palette, which is 
a fave. It is a love. I have pan in this shade right here called Balance. This was in No Pan Left Behind recently, and I really enjoy this palette, but I'm kind of starting to resent it, which is why it's kind of ranking towards the bottom, because it's a, it's a beautiful fall, spring, summer, winter palette for me year round, but am I zoomed out all the way? No, I am. Okay. <laughs> You can barely tell the difference, but so this is a beautiful, beautiful palette, and you have a beautiful one and done shade with balance. You can't go wrong with this palette, but I'm starting to resent it because of my work wardrobe. I could literally use this palette every day for work, and I, I, I'm ready to put it away. <laughs> ready to put it away. Uh, next we have the newest fancy cosmetica palette, the Cradled in Ice palette. Such a gorgeous, gorgeous. This is their first 12 pan palette and they did an amazing job with it. You have the blues, you have the mauve tones, you have several one and done eyeshadows in here. You cannot go wrong with this formula. It's number three. No, I'm gonna, fuck. Oh well. <laughs> I was gonna rank something else before it. Oh well, I'll rank it next. See, very arbitrary. It's just that because this palette is fully, is like half blues, I don't really think about this palette. And also the packaging's blue, the dragon's a pop of purple, which gives into the mauves in here. But when I think of this palette with the lid closed, I think of blues. I don't think about the mauve colors, but if I was thinking about the mauve tones more, then I would definitely reach for this palette a lot more. It's just not necessarily something I think about, but it's pretty good. I've ranked it number one in two palette rankings so far this year, so stay tuned for the end of the year. Will it be number one? Will it be? We'll see. Next, so I wanted to ring the Sorcerer Palette singles actually before Cradle the Nice. So let me move this. The Sorcerer singles are in my No Pan Left Behind project right now. So they are all the shimmers on my eyes. So I have the shades. Let's see if I can get these out. I have Polymorph all over my lids. I have Chaos on the outer corner, which I largely covered up with a wing. And then I have Illusion, uh, the blue in my lower lash line. And I'm normally not a fan of, I okay. I'm not a fan of matte blues on my lower lash line. I feel like when I do a shimmer metallic blue, I do like that on the lower lash line. So I do really enjoy this look today. So I would rank it before Cradle the Nice because, actually no I wouldn't. I I like where it is. I like it at number three. I think it's really good. I reach for it quite often because I love a good cotton candy moment. Pinks, blues, purples, all at once. I am here for it. I adore it. So I do like it for that. But because it is only singles, I can't speak for the mattes. So I don't know. I think the Sorcerer palette was their first palette. Now that I'm thinking about it. I think it was Sorcerer, Druid, then Rogue. And then everything else. So just keep that in mind. I'm surprised I know that. Number two, which is the mattes and inner corner on my lids. Granted, I cover up the mattes with sparkles, but I did use them. Number two is the Fighter palette. Another beautiful fall palette. Beautiful fall. You have cool tones. So I used for mattes, I used Cavalier and I used Warrior. So those are the two mattes. I covered them up with shimmers. And then I use Glory, which has pan in my inner corner. And look at that inner corner highlight. Mm, 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 so phenomenal. I adore this palette. I ranked it number two because I would reach for this palette so much for Glory. Like, I hit pan and Glory. I reach for it. I haven't reached for it this year, but like putting it in the inner corner, I'm like, I need to take this back out for fall. I think after this, even though I have a very cool tone look, I think I'm going to do fall palettes for, I think I'm going to film another video talking about fall palettes. So you're going to see this look again, or well, you've already seen this look more than likely. So beautiful fall tone palette. I definitely want to play with this palette. I even love the mustard shade in this column. These two shades right here don't really speak to my soul, but I love, like, the, like more than two thirds of this palette I really enjoy and that I would really reach for. I do love the mattes in here. I haven't been really talking about the mattes in this. The only 
palette that I really have troubles with mattes are the Bard and the palette that's number one. And no one should be pressed surprised because it's already been spoiled. So number one is the Rogue palette. I have to rank this number one because while I'm not the biggest fan of the mattes, I'm not. Look at that pan in Trickster. Look at that pan in Trickster. Like it is absurd. For a person that has a lot of eyeshadow palettes in their collection to have not only a pan but a large pan in eyeshadow speaks wonders for me. So I have to rank this number one for Trickster alone. The mattes down at the bottom are actually pretty good. It's these two mattes right here that pretty suck. But if you can get past that, and honestly, you can get away with this palette without using those two mattes. Granted, this dark green would be really good for this shimmer right here. But you can use this blue and purple with these two shadows just fine. I believe this is a multi-chrome right here. I actually think Trickster is also a multi-chrome. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know. I used it in a look recently. It was absolutely phenomenal. Absolutely loved it. So I have to rank Trickster number one. Be <laughs> I have to rank Trickster because number one. I have to rank the Rogue palette, number one, because of Trickster. Yo, so I was just making sure that Trickster is available as a single because I can't stop, won't stop talking about this. And I knew, I was fairly confident that all the Fancy Cosmetica palettes are still available for sale, but I just wanted to make sure. So I went onto the website and I could not find anything Rogue. And I was starting to panic a little bit. So in my panic, I searched, is Fancy Cosmetica Rogue discontinued? And it was a couple search results down, but I could find a link to Druid and the, not Druid, I could find a link to Rogue and the Rogue singles. So I don't know if that's a website discrepancy. I don't, and they said add to cart. So I hope, I don't know what happened. I don't know if it's just my computer, maybe it's my VPN. I don't know why it would be my VPN, but you never know. So I just want to throw that in there. You might have to do a little digging. But if you are new to Fancy Cosmetica, which palette would I recommend? Honestly, I would recommend just buying Trickster as a single. I believe you can buy the singles as bundles from every palette so you can't get the singles in the shadows individually. So I just recommend getting Trickster as a single. And then really you can't go wrong with any of these palettes. I ranked bar number 8 because Charismatic is not the best single um, one and done eyeshadow. But not everyone does eyeshadow like I do. So I can't, like, you see my ranking, but the formula across the board is just that Good. I am a collector of Fancy Cosmetica, and I cannot say that about any other brand. So I will continue purchasing all those palettes. I don't really care when it comes to my low buy when it comes to Fancy Cosmetica. I am aching for another launch. I'm like, when are they going to launch something new? When is the next new thing coming? I have to know. I'm still yearning for a Cleric palette. I want a Cleric palette so badly so fantasy cosmetica if you've heard my pandering over the past year please make cleric a possibility please bring us a cleric palette i have no idea i'm not creative <laughs> so i have no idea what the cleric palette would look like in my brain but i know it would be absolutely stunning so here's my plea for a cleric palette thank you all so much for watching today's video give this video a like subscribe as always, have joy and bye! <laughs>